The real reason why good men are giving up on relationships is because women are teaching other women how men should think and feel. So when a man turns around and actually says what he thinks and feels, he's told he's wrong. But a man better not ever do this to a woman. Because if he did, at the very least, she would be offended. And at the worst, he would be labeled a narcissist. If women actually listened to men, good men wouldn't be hard to find. I just discovered the reason why it's so hard to find a good guy dating in 2023. And it's not because there aren't any left and that all men are disgusting and all men are trash. That is completely false, no matter what you hear from other girls on TikTok. The truth is that the good guys are done with dating. They would rather be single and have their peace than be in a relationship and not be treated correctly. They're done playing the games, okay? Girls not being monogamous, them not texting them back, them giving them mixed signals, them opening up and sharing their feelings and then a girl breaking up with them. They don't want to deal with that. They'd rather work a lot, go home, play some video games, watch a movie, and spend time with their dog or themselves than ever have to deal with women. I just want to know. I just want to know which one of you ladies messed it up for everyone because dating out here is so hard. Social media has ruined relationships not just because of cheating, but because the average male cannot compete with the amount of attention that women are receiving online. There's posts like this. And these posts have over a million likes and thousands of thousands of comments where women are getting their self-worth and their value from random strangers on the internet. And you think that the average male is going to be able to compete with any of that. They're not. You will never be able to compete with the amount of attention that she's getting from social media. And that's why a lot of women refuse to give up their social media or stop posting thirst traps the minute that they're in a relationship. Why? Because they know that you as a man cannot fill that void. But also it's made the average woman look like a seven or an eight when there are two or three or four. I have never seen a single person that I've seen online walking around in real life. Why? Because they don't look like that. So that's the other thing. Their ego goes way up here when really they, they need to be humbled. Okay, bye. There was a study called um, from the Pew Center Res Research conducted a study that said 63% of men under age 30 would rather stay home and watch porn than go on a date. Mm. Men say they are getting their needs met without having to go on a date. Would you? Would men rather stay single than be with a woman is the question. That's what they're saying, pretty much. 63% of men. I think they're cheap. Yeah, they just ain't got no money. They don't have money, which you should get your money up before you start dating. So it is cheaper to sit home and beat your meat right. than actually go out and find actual women to hang out with. That's I, I sad disagree. reality. I disagree. Why? What do you think? Is it what, less of what a do you headache think? to have Here to we deal go. with a woman or something? There it goes. Like, it's a headache. Now I got to take you out. I got to hear what you had to tell your whole day. I That's gotta... why you take out people you actually like, and then you don't feel that. Yeah, way. but then what? Well, I got to get to know you first to like you, right? Yeah. So how do I get to know you? Talk. Call them the So you rather hand? Yeah. Hey, listen. I'm married. Hey, you always got to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you I wasn't, got these nigga if problems. If you wasn't married, problems. if you wasn't married. I'd probably beat him. I mean, 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> So over 60% of Gen Z men are single and intimacy is at a 30 year low across both genders. So if you look at this graph right here, you see about 30% of US adults are single. But if you go to the men age 18 through 29, that goes to 63% compared to women in that same age group at 34%. What's going on here? After reading the article, no one fucking knows. They try to personalize it saying men can choose differently, but ultimately it's a societal issue as the statistics indicate that. Men can do things differently, but if such a large portion of men are training in a certain way, it's a societal issue. But what do y'all think about this? Do men need to seek relationships at a young age right now, or should they just sit back and focus on themselves? Let me know.